With these apps, you can increase the resolution and the performance of your Oculus Quest and your Oculus Go. No, this is not super sampling. Let's check it out. Recording. How does this look? Does this look okay? Does it look weird? One, two, three, four. All right, people. Thanks for joining me. I have I have something I want to show you. I've made some new resolution changing apps for the Oculus Quest and the Oculus Go, and they are not just for changing resolution. I'll show you here. Here's what I made. We got uh, video recording bitrate changes, 25 megabits, 50 megabits, 80 megabits, because for Ragabird, that's why. I mean, nobody else wants to record at 80 megabits on the Oculus Quest or the Oculus Go except him. So that's the for Ragabird special, there you go. Um, and now here are the classic eye buffer Resolution changes 512, 768, 1536, 2048, 2560, 3072. I have an Oculus Go default resolution uh, and a Quest default resolution option for all of those people out there who've asked me for that. Now, what else do we have? We have a 1080p HD video recording resolution. We also have a 720p video recording resolution option. What else did I make? Um, disable or enable dynamic clock throttling. Fixed foveated rendering, uh, disabled, uh, low, medium, high, high top. That's like, let's see, full frame rate video capture. Uh, I guess by default now, the Quest and the Go record at like half the frame rate that you're seeing. So if you click on this, it will enable full frame rate capture, which is cool. What else do we have? Anything else? Oh yeah, CPU level, CPU, GPU level. So it's 0, 1, 2, or 3 for the Oculus Quest. The Oculus Go can go up to 4. According to the, as of right now, according to the Quest documentation, the Quest only can go up to 3. That's like the top for the Quest. All right, and I also am including this install all APK files. It's a bat file that you can run. It will, um, you know, automatically sideload all of the files in the directory that it's in, which will be all these. Um, or you can just pick and choose which ones you want. Maybe there's ones in here you have no desire to use. Um, so you can just download the file here. It's 145 megabytes. And here are all the files in the folder. And um, these are ones that you sideload. If you don't know how to sideload, that's an entirely separate video. Go check it out up here. Is that right? My, yeah, left, upper left hand corner. Go check that out. Now, let me show you how to use this. All right, uh, let me show you how these work. I just recorded this and didn't realize it disconnected from my computer. So this is take two. All right, so I have these installed. They're side loaded. You, you can find them in Oculus TV. You can also find them in unknown sources. If you go to unknown sources, they will be coming up to see fixed foveated rendering disabled, fixed foveated rendering low, fixed foveated rendering medium. Um, or you can just go to uh, Oculus TV and you go to channels and they are here. Okay, now, if you'll notice, the environment looks really low resolution. I cranked, I changed this. Now, the first time you actually click on one of these, it's going to ask you for authorization. I'm gonna put a screen up right now that'll show you what that looks like. And uh, just click on allow always. And anyways, each one will ask you. And once you've properly authorized it, uh, it shouldn't ask you again. And then you'll have to click on it again so that it goes to a black screen, for example. I'll show you what I mean. Oh, and remember, you have to, with the, with your device connected to your computer, you have to issue the command ADB TCP IP 5555, as seen on the screen right now, in order to restart ADB in TCP mode on your device so that these things can talk to it. We're at 512, look, here's the default quest resolution. Clicking on that. Boom, everything's clear. And now I do have fixed phobia to rendering set to high. Um, so the peripheral, what fixed phobia to rendering does is, is it uh, changes the peripheral rendering. So on four, it makes the peripheral uh, lower, lowest quality and then all the way up to zero. 
makes it just the same quality as everything else. So you can probably see it looks exactly the same. This one here changes it to full frame rate recording. If the screen goes black, once you've clicked on it, that means it's successful. If it doesn't go black, it didn't, it didn't take. The way these are set up is that the screen going black only happens once the command has been successfully issued. We have CPU, GPU levels, two, three, four, one. Now, um, according to the Oculus documentation, level four only really works on the Go, on the Oculus Go. And uh, so level three apparently is the highest for the Quest and they're all relative. So level three is on the Quest, what level four is on the Go, apparently. You can change the resolution uh, you can change the bitrate that you want to record at. I just installed the 25 megabits uh, per second recording bitrate option because I'm not going to record at 50 or 80. So, um, and then you can do, for example, okay, let's say you want to record at, okay, let's change fixed over your rendering to the lowest quality so that we can then have a performance improvement for recording at 1080p. Okay, so that means the command to record in 1080p was successful. So we can go down here and I can say record video. And now I'm recording in 1080p. It's kind of laggy because I'm also casting with screen copy. But okay, so. And this is actually in 1080p. This video has been recorded in 1080p with exfoliated rendering set to maximum, so the sides are kind of just... So again, here is the lowest quality. Watch, it will change, just give it a second, clicked on it. It's set to a five second timeout, so if it doesn't, nothing happens in five seconds, try it again. Now, you can see it's low quality. You can go to the Quest default resolution. Okay, so I just found out that sometimes it doesn't go to black. This is kind of weird. Like, look right now, everything is blurry. See, like the lines and stuff. Um, the controllers are pretty low quality. Let's say I want to change it to the Oculus Quest resolution. It darkens, but it doesn't go black. Oh, wait, no, it's black. That's weird. Well, okay, if you run into the issue where it's not going black, but you're not getting an error. I'll show you an error that can come up if, you, if it's not working. Um, just, just go like this. Turn the screen off until it makes that beep and then turn it back on and then the resolution will kick in. So let's see, right, let's try 512 again. All right, see the screen didn't go black did not go black, but it did take because I didn't get an error up here. So watch this, if I turn this off, hit the beep, turn it back on. See, look, it's all blurry up there. Everything's blurry. So we know the, the command did take. Now, I will show you what happens if the command doesn't take. I'll show you how to know if it's not working. All right, now, if you are using these and they don't work, here's what's gonna happen. Little thing will pop up here, at least as of the current version. I think we're on firmware 17 for the Oculus Quest. Click on one of these. Hey, missing permissions. Missing permissions. So it'll tell you that it's missing permissions down here if you have not correctly enabled TCP IP or ADB over TCP IP. So, you know what I decided to do is um, to include one, I, uh, I decided I'll just include one in this file. So uh, in this zip file, here I will extract it. All right, I've included this bat file that will enable it. So I just double click on it. Restarting, okay. Restarting in TCP mode port 5555. If it says that, you're good. So now, watch this. 
Okay, so now if I click on one of those, yeah, see, it worked fine. So we did not get that error. All right, guys, this also works on the Oculus Go, although it doesn't show a black screen. I, when I was developing these apps, I was testing them out on the Quest and the Oculus TV app on the Quest is different than it is on the Go, so it was just going straight to black no matter what I put. I tried to put like different types of notifications, try to put different colors, try to put logos and, and pictures, and it just wasn't showing up on the Quest. So I just kind of took it for granted it was gonna be that way on the Go, and it's not. On the Go, you actually can see kind of like, there's like uh, a logo that comes up like in the middle of the actual physical screen, so each eye kind of sees half of it. It'd be a lot of work to change it, uh, so I'm not gonna. But um, and then I did. I made some really nice icons for it. Uh, for getting that on the Oculus Quest, Oculus TV doesn't actually show the 16 by 9 icon. It just crops and shows you like the 4 by 3 center of the icon. So then I had to redo all those icons. So now the icons in Oculus on the Oculus Go look different, um, but it's the same same concept. What I just showed you for the Quest will work for the Oculus Go. Works uh, really well. Alright, so if you guys have any questions, let me know, but you don't, right? You don't have any questions. The only thing that anybody might have a question about is the whole ADB over TCP IP, uh, which I created a bat file in here for you. Um, you just have to plug your Oculus Quest or your Oculus Go into your device via USB. And again, if you don't know, that, that's all covered in my side loading video check that out. I have two different side loading videos, a short one and a long one, and the short one is too short for people that don't know anything about side loading. So try the short one if you want. Link's in the video description or you can try the long one if that doesn't make sense. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe because that's what you're supposed to say on YouTube. Uh, and I guess if you leave comments it means, I don't know, I don't really like asking people to leave comments just to leave comments, right? I mean I should have content that provokes people to leave comments. Don't just leave a comment just because I want a comment. So, anyways, I'm rambling. I've got a little bit of a headache. I'll catch you guys later. Thanks for watching.